raw and unedited. All right. No jump cuts here. Psychedelic experience number 26. This is gonna get out of control. I can tell already. Yeah, it's gonna I'm be already good. expecting the comments like, nice jump cuts, guys. <laughs> Thought we got rid of this a year and a half ago. Yeah. Down to one camera tonight. Womp womp. Yeah. All right, technical so. difficulties this evening, but it's all good. We rotate back, you, me, you, me, you, me? Yeah, we'll do that. All right, okay, so, Psychedelic Experience, <laughs> record run number 26, go. Um, <laughs> first record out of the box for me, I am tapping out. Give me a towel, I'm throwing it in. I am not gonna buy any more copies of Dark Side of the Moon. Got a little shopping time. Gosh, this was way back. This was months ago. I was in St. Louis while my wife got her herd in. And <laughs> how did I say it like that? And so I went to uh, Euclid, which I love. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna drop a little bit of money today. Saw this bad boy. This is by far the cleanest first US pressing I've ever seen. So he's out the side there. <laughs> um, my old one had a bunch of damage, water damage inside the gatefold. It's harvest. Um, the disc looks really good. Yes. And it's got, so I Frankenstein, I've got like, three of the original posters in there now because I took a bunch of them out of my older copies of this. Sold several of them in various markets and I've got, and both the stickers are in here too. So let me Very nice. fish those out. There's one of them. Those, those are there. sweet. Yeah, they clearly had gotten crushed by the record over the years. So like they're kind of coming off on the bottom. Yeah, but, but at the same time, isn't this the one that somebody put like right on the cover of yours? Yeah. Have you ever seen Noah Yellow's copy like in an older video? Yeah. Yeah. I've since upgraded as well, so. Well, <laughs> this is this is it for me. I'm no longer upgrading Dark Side of the Moon. Unless, for a price that I can afford, someone's <laughs> like, oh, I've got first UK pressing. Right. Done. <laughs> got it. Mark it eight, dude. Check mark, Dark Side. So same day, also same trip to Euclid. Been looking for it forever. Got it. Yeah. Electric Prunes Underground. Mella Yellow got this about maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah. And oh boy, I loved it the first time I heard it. Been waiting for a good oh, copy good. of it. Little bit of uh, ring wear down there and same side on the back, or same spot on the back, but Oh yeah. Disc Tasty. is <laughs> tricolor label. Stereo, not mono, nobody freak out. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I ended up uh, getting this for um, about what it was worth, and I didn't in any way. I was this wasn't one that I was like, oh, I have to get a deal on. I said right. if I find that in great condition for a price uh, that's reasonable, I'm gonna buy it because I wanted it. So Absolutely. did it. I'm continuing my Blono trip from the last video, uh, so this is kind of just part two of those reverb vinyl and uh, North Street record stuff. So, one more note on my electric oh, prunes, yes. actually. Name written on the cover that had been sort of like scrubbed out. I didn't do it, but the name was Hassler. Ah, uh. you don't want to be a hassle, man. <laughs> Not on the buzz. prunes. Ugh. Raw and unedited with the burps. Here we go. It's already starting. Yeah. Uh, heartburn kicking back in. Man. Pot pie is kicking my butt tonight. Uh, this was from Reverb Vinyl. I think this was like six or seven bucks. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly. Self-titled. Uh, he had a sticker on it that was like hard blues rock. He was spot on. This is hard blues rock. It's not great, but it's not bad. But it's, it's hard. It is hard and it's, and blues, it's bluesy. And it's rock. Uh, and it is all of those things indeed. Um, there's not really a standout track. I mean, it's all in this kind of a similar vein. It's it's hard, it's kind of heavy, it's fuzzed up a little bit. Uh, they jam out some, not, not anything real long, like four and a half minutes is the longest track. Otherwise, you're looking at two and a half, three minutes. Gotta love the appropriate hype sticker, though. <laughs> yes, not oh, even, absolutely. Is that even a hype sticker? That's just a description. It's an accurate description. description sticker. I've seen this hyped up on eBay as like, blue psych. No, 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 no. There's no psychedelic elements on this. This is straight blues rock, but it's enjoyable. And for, you know, a Lincoln and a Washington, can't go wrong, so. All right, in an attempt to make up for 
in a karma sense of the word, his terrible <laughs> shoveling uh, off of dead. JD Blackfoot onto me. Watch the last video. <laughs> Mellow Yellow put a few in the donation pile to the old psych professor here. Yeah. So uh, he sent these two my way. So first off, Mass and F minor, also of course by the Electric Prunes. Yeah. I dig this. It's good. It is a fun listen. What a cool concept. <laughs> Let's psychedelicize a Catholic mass. Yeah. Love it. It's great. It is fantastic. Needle drop to label, real fun, both sides don't really, you don't have to pay attention, you're not listening for a hit or anything, there's something like that on there. Although, Kiri Henry was yeah. in, um, uh, it was in Easy Rider, Easy Rider yeah. so you'll recognize that, but it, you know, it's, it's still, it's awesome. All right, and uh, Louis Louis, uh, cool, obviously. Kingsman, uh, this one was on your discard pile and I picked it right up there. Not in terrible shape, no. not in great shape, but yeah. awesome. Yeah. Louis Louis, Kingsman, in person, on one, fun stuff. <laughs> Can't get it Can't back, get in, the back in the thing. This is, this is why ISIS will win, folks. <laughs> this, is, this is the level of intelligence we're dealing with. Probably they just post something that's like, free records, and we're there. This is also from North Street. This is the Amboy Dukes Migration. I believe their second album. Um, the Amboy Dukes, I like some of their stuff. Yeah. Journey to the Center of the Mind is great. But occasionally they just get a little, I don't know. nugent -y. nugent -y, yeah, a little self-indulgent. And it's not bad, it's really enjoyable stuff for the most part. He believes but, in uh, ISIS. He does believe in ISIS. He is a, uh, a firm believer and I'm sure a, uh, a supporter of Mr. Donald Trump. So, um, <laughs> hashtag make Donald Trump again. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, but no, this is pretty good stuff. The first side, they get a little bit jammy, um, which is good. I mean, they're all really good players. And Ted Nugent, as much as I don't like him as a human being, he could really play. No, guitar. he's a heck of a guitar player. player. Yeah, no guitars. doubt about it. Um, so that's kind of what you're in for. You're in for heavy rock, psych influence. See his picture on the back. Um, is that old? It's got to be right him there right there with the, the chip tooth. With the chip tooth and the dirty stash. So. Uh, wasn't really growing that mustache in very well, kind of like me. There's so. a dead deer right here. <laughs> it's just right out of the frame. <laughs> Next one, little GB's trip. I think, in fact, all the rest of these are from GB's, or most of them are. Uh, yeah. Canadian pressing? It's cool. Asylum choir. Of course, Leon Russell, Mark uh, ben Bino. Is it Bino or Benno? I'm not sure. All right, but anyway, Asylum choir. Look inside. Love it. It's, awesome. I like the U the U.S. with the toilet paper. Yeah. Way cooler cover. <laughs> but anyway, this is a must-have. It's an old show poster. Yeah. It's not going to cost you a ton of money, but it is a little bit tough to find. Yeah. So if you see it, hop on it. Last one from North Street, I believe. This was in their dollar bin. They had a big dollar bin sale going on. It was kind of cool. This is a compilation called First Vibration. And this is weird. This is unusual. This was put out by a company called the Do It Now Foundation. And it was an anti-drug campaign. And so they put out this psychedelic compilation, and on the back they talk about um, kind of hippy dippy stuff, like first vibration is the celebration of life, a feeling of energy and love. And then it kind of goes on to talk about how, like, speed kills, don't do drugs, here's some psychedelic music that talks about, like, bad trips and kind of stuff. Like, you've got Canned Heat's Amphetamine Annie, um, <laughs> the Hoyt Axton, which is, uh, I believe, Steppenwolf, the Pusher. Uh, the bird's artificial energy. But there's a couple tracks on here where it's kind of like, I don't know if that was an anti-drug song or a song that was kind of like, this is what drugs can do for you. Um, like Jimi Hendrix's Red House. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird compilation. Sunshine Superman by Donovan. Doom, 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 yeah. doom, Superman ain't got nothing on me. I just Cause he's like, high and loving it. I, I feel like there needs to just be footage, know. like go-to footage of you and I in like vintage 67 <laughs> clothes, like freaking out down the street. <laughs> yes, I'm all about that. Um, <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Yes, please. Uh, this compilation though, kind of cool for one aspect, a couple actually, but number one, it has a Beatles track on there. And they notoriously didn't yeah, have their stuff rarely, on comps. So, rarely on comps. Yep, Nowhere Man is on here. 
But there are two tracks that are amazing on here. Things to Come, The Dancer on side one, and Genesis, not the Phil Collins one, the American Genesis, the, with The Long Road. Both of those were just singles, unreleased on albums, and they are deep, trippy, cool psych rock. Nice. So it's, this is worth owning just for that. And this is another cheap beat of mine. It's like 10 bucks and under typically. So oh, sweet. Yeah, cool stuff there. Very cool. All right, along with that uh, awesome Asylum Choir, same day, picked up yeah. Bo Diddley, London Sessions. This has got to be a reissue because it's in really way too good a shape. But uh, it's, I think I looked it up, it's early enough. I mean, it's no barcode or anything like that. And uh, inside the gatefold is super, nice. super nice. Um, record looks great. I think this was the only thing um, in my recent trips to GB's that I paid over 12 bucks for. And nice. I think this one I bought. Lots of German them. pressing there. Yeah, so cool. yeah. So I think that, that might explain why it's a little bit later. Um, but Bo Diddley, London Sessions. From Reverb. This is The Human Beings and the Mammals, Nobody But Me. This was released um, on Gateway Recordings. The Human Beings originally recorded some material for Gateway, and then Nobody But Me went huge on Capitol. And so to kind of cash in on the success, they were like, let's release an album with their material and call it Nobody But Me, which doesn't even appear on this album. Uh, wow. Right? Oh, no, Shady I'm sorry. Bass. I take it back. Wait, wait, I take it, it back. I'm sorry. It's the last track. I misspoke so they there. Did buy the rights but, from uh, Capitol to put it on this one? Well, because they'd already recorded it. So oh, okay. Capitol may have actually bought the rights from this. Wow. So Talk about worked, shady but... music business practices, though. Like, yeah. if it wasn't on the album, like, let's just, that's, that is the definition of cash. And it in. may even be the mammals. It is. I'm sorry. So the human beings aren't singing Nobody But Me. It's the mammals singing it. So it, wow. it's technically on there, but it's not them. But uh, gross. Yeah, this is kind of a tough one to find. I got this for like twelve bucks or something. Nice. Not in the best shape, but the cover's really nice. And I, I love like the, the gateway cover. label too. I think yeah. it's simple but neat. It is, yeah, kind of that uh, maroon, just a big G. Just doing gateway. it. Yeah, cool stuff there. Another GB's run. Cannot think of owning this record without thinking of Ben Wyatt. <laughs> yes. R.E.M.'s Murmur <laughs> Near Mint Can Dish. Where, where am I going to put my Who, Who's Could Do albums? Gosh, I fumbled that. <laughs> I'm out. Here's the, here's the ball. There's the end zone. Yeah. You screwed it up. Time I pulled a, uh, I pulled a Seahawks. I threw it instead of running it in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Go ahead. All right. Anyway, so R.E.M.'s Murmur uh, debut album. This is on IRS Records, so it's. Uh, I think it's a first pressing. At least that's what I confirmed from numbers and everything. Nice. And uh, I wouldn't. It's not my favorite REM record, but I was for. I picked it up less than ten bucks, and I was just like, wow, kind of kind of tough. Yeah. It's in good condition. Um, not one that I really expected to see in Decatur. Yeah. So no offense to Decaturians or anything like that. It was just like, wow, I don't think of seeing that record showing up in a middle America record shop. Right. But uh, as always, the guys at GB's uh, will surprise you with some great stuff there. So Indeed they do. Never want to pass that up? No, not at all. Alright, two, uh, a little two for action from Dead Wax Records in St. Louis. Again, this was a while back, but uh, trying to get, get these shown so we can get to that Memphis trip here. But, the Memphis uh, trip is coming. It is indeed. This is the group therapy. People get ready for the group therapy. We played a track last week on the show and I told you they are a very poor man's Vanilla Fudge. <laughs> and Vanilla Fudge was kind of a poor man's psych rock anyway, so this is just kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's bottom of the barrel kind of stuff. <laughs> um, Destitute man psych. <laughs> it really is hobo psych. Um, <laughs> it opens with a kind of a decent cover of Foxy Lady that by the end of it you're kind of like, all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> the wrap it up sign from yes, Chappelle's show. Yeah. Wrap it up. Yes. Um, otherwise, it's all covers. I don't think they have an original hit on here. Um, it's, again, like I said, just kind of so so material. It's not great, it's not bad. Kind of cool to though. I'm, I'm a sucker for the psych stuff, so if I find it, I gotta keep it. Yeah. Um, speaking of another one that's kind of like that, this is American Eagle, self-titled on DECA. 
Uh, kind of a neat little gatefold thing going on there. I may have had that upside down. I don't know. No, nope, yeah, you had it right, right side up. Uh, but you can see there's sample copy on the back. Nice. Uh, but not, no marking on the uh, label itself. This is uh, this is kind of tough to describe. It gets a little folky in spots, like folk rock, but it gets a little bit hard rock, a little bit sludgy, like vanilla fudge and the group therapy kind of stuff. Not mind blowing. Some people are really big on this. I'm not in that camp. I'm kind of like, meh, it's okay. Both of those I think were like 10 bucks a piece and uh, not upset to have found them and, and support Dead Wax Records and our, our friend Jeremy over there. So For sure. Yeah. Repop on this. It's yeah. a 77 reissue, but I'm a sucker for the cream graphic yes, up there, me too. the fresh cream graphic, and again, less than 10 bucks. Um, I think the only, I've got, so now my cream records, I've got like an early but not first US, and then I've got this one, which is the 77 reissue, and it's really good, I mean, it sounds great, uh, on the RSO label, and then I think my, um, my Disraeli Gears is the same run of 77 represses oh, yeah. of Cream stuff. And then my Wheels of Fire and my uh, Goodbye Cream are originals. So nice. yeah. uh, it's just one of those things. I love Cream. I mean, they yeah. are one of the groups that got me into psych and got me through high school and stuff like that. And so if I see a Cream record in good shape and for under 10 bucks, it's pretty likely I'm going home with it and uh, and just going to hold on to it or upgrade or something like that. I, just, I love Cream. Gotta love Cream. Awesome Absolutely. stuff. Alright, last one for me. This is from Vintage Vinyl. Pretty Big. recently, actually. Within the last three or four weeks. So, <laughs> recent-ish. Uh, the Fug, self-titled. I, I got this right after you showed it in a video. Oh. Um, Cool, cool stuff. This was ten bucks. I love this cover this of this cover too. Is so the cool. second edition cover. Yeah. It's one of the few times where the second edition cover like blows the first one out yes. of the water. I mean, I'm glad that I have, and I, I'm pretty sure I have a first pressing of it, which was yeah. kind of like, whoa, I can't believe I found yeah, this. Yeah, right. And then you, have to, <laughs> <laughs> and then the plants I, over right, there. <laughs> and then I saw you with this, and I was like, man, I forgot that there's that cool. Second cover yeah. of it. I oh. never expected to see this either. I, I was really kind of blown away. Confession, haven't even listened to it yet. Whoa! I know. I know. No! Oh. <laughs> and you spoke very oh, highly. Oh, so. man. I love the weird stuff. <laughs> so much weird stuff coming from Memphis. Check yes. out the next oh, video. It's going to so be amazing. So there you go. The Fugs, finished vinyl, 10 bucks. Good. Yeah, all. you too, sir. All right. It was a, we were moving on that one. Lots of records. <laughs> no shows, edits. So. No edits. Maybe a few edits. All <laughs> we'll right. See. Anyway. All right. So we'll be back. Our next video will be our Memphis record run. It's probably going to be a two-parter. Yeah. Until then, avoid scratches and stay in the groove. Make Donald Trump again. <laughs> see you guys.